Let's design an inverting op amp circuit for which the gain is negative 10 and the total resistance used is 110,000 ohms. So we can only use 110,000 ohms. The voltage gain of an inverting op amp is G equals negative R2 over R1, where G is our gain. We know our gain is negative 10, so we can write negative 10 is equal to negative R2 over R1. We can omit the negative signs, and then let's go ahead and multiply both sides by R1. So now we have R2 is equal to 10 times R1. Now considering our total resistance is 110k ohms, we know that R1 plus R2 is 110k ohms. Let's take this value of R2 and let's put it in this equation. So now we have R1 plus 10R1 is equal to 110k. These two terms share the same variable, so we can combine them. And now we have 11R1 is equal to 110k. Now we can find the value for R1 by dividing both sides by 11. So now we see that R1 is equal to 10k ohms. So now if you think about it, I'm sure you can figure out what R2 is going to be. Let's take this value for R1 and we'll put it up in this equation here. That gives us R2 is equal to 10 times 10k ohms. That leaves us with 100,000 ohms. Here's the inverting op amp circuit that we just designed, with R1 being 10k ohms and R2 being 100k ohms. That would give us a gain of negative 10. Thank you for watching.